I remember last month when there was a lot of commotion about the alleged overfilling of Kylie Jenner's face. We created a video discussing the concerning normalization of dermal fillers in young people. Well, if you thought Kylie's situation was extreme, take a look at Kim's. Who on earth is this? This doesn't look like Kim Kardashian at all. If you told me that Kim had a cold and couldn't attend the event, so she sent one of those Kim Kardashian impersonators in her place, I would totally believe you. So the fact that Kim accuses Chloe of changing her whole face and overdoing the fillers is a bit hypocritical, don't you think? I was gonna call you and talk to you last night about this. What is it? Your whole face has changed. <laughs> Did you do any the craziest laugh? Filler? No, I asked her that. She said no. Oh, I haven't. You haven't done any Botox. <laughs> No! Chloe, your whole face changes when you laugh. It's like, oh, I, I really stare at you. <laughs> There's this article in Aura that really made me laugh. Kim doesn't look like herself with her new haircut and makeup style. You're very diplomatic, but I don't think it's just the haircut that's making her look like a totally different person. What or who is that? It begs the question, what on earth has Kim done to herself? Actually, I know exactly what's happened. Kim, like the rest of her family, except potentially Rob, who is still a natural beauty, has become a victim of filler culture. It's so interesting to me, considering the fact that Kim herself flatly denies ever, ever, ever having filler, period. I'm not against plastic surgery, especially when I'm older and I have kids. The question, what do you have in your face right now? Kim's answer, a little bit of Botox, your lips and your cheeks, no filler. No filler, never filled either one. Ever. She admits that, yes, she's had a little bit of Botox here and there, but according to her, she has chilled on the Botox, which is a very good thing. Because look at this picture here. Her eyebrows have never looked angrier, but she would never touch filler. Yes. That's exactly I, what you look like, a cartoon. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Okay. I'll never do this again, ever. Oh, promise? Never. Promise? Promise. Now, I'm not going to sit here on my high horse and accuse Kim of lying, mostly because I don't want to be sued, but I think she's lying. Now, I don't care if you get filler. I do care about people in positions of extreme fame, privilege, and power, essentially allegedly gaslighting their fans and flat out denying getting fillers while very much looking like the poster child for fillers. Needless to say, very few people actually believe her. Let's start with cheek filler, shall we? What on earth is going on here? Filler, that's what. That's my opinion anyway. While Kim has always had naturally full cheeks, they were never quite this plump. And what's more, with age, and bear in mind that Kim is now 43, you naturally lose volume in your face. Unless, of course, you had gained a load of weight elsewhere on your body, which as you can see, Kim absolutely has not. In fact, she appears to have lost weight. So the fact that Kim's face is ever expanding certainly points to the potential use of dermal fillers to add volume to her cheeks and under eye area. Then there's the jaw filler. Now, I'm not exactly sure when having a jaw like F. Mir became the beauty standard, but here we are. What on earth has she done to her one soft jawline? Filler, that's what. Sharp jawlines are very on trend, I know that. And on some people who have them naturally, they look amazing. But artificially created jawlines don't really look the same, do they? And herein lies the problem with abusing fillers, trying to use them to create bone structure or facial features that you don't naturally have just looks a little off. Someone please tell me what was wrong with Kim's natural jawline that she felt the need to do this to herself. She looks like bloody Tarzan now. Considering this is the same woman who looked a reporter in the eye and flatly denied ever having filler. It surprises me that Kim then posted this TikTok where you can clearly see bruising to her jawline. And then, when her fans pointed it out, which obviously they would, she swiftly deleted the video. Now, I know that the whole Kardashian model is to basically cause controversy, get people talking, and then make a boatload of cash. But this one is a bit strange even to me. Bruising on a woman's face is usually cause for concern for a multitude of different reasons, and I'm pretty sure that Kim or whoever posted this video was pretty aware of the fact that Kim's jawline was bruised, 
My personal opinion is that the bruising is likely caused by jaw filler, because it's either that, or her jawline just randomly decided that 43 was a good age to start growing again. What's even more horrendous is the fact that injectors are actually offering Kim K packages to their clients, in which the customer can receive chin filler, jaw filler, cheek filler, lip filler, Botox, and fat dissolving injections. Kim K package is Botox, lips, cheek augmentation, and chin augmentation. And in this particular clinic, they offer a B12 injection, which I actually laughed out loud at when I read it. I was like, that's just so random, not necessarily a bad thing, but I wonder if they actually do a blood test first to see if their clients are even deficient in B12 before they inject it. In Cheshire offers Kylie Jenner packages. Kaya, the manager, uses social media to promote them. She says the Kylie package is one of their most popular treatments. So Emma is having the um, Kylie package. So she's having jaw filler, um, chin filler, and she's having a lips as well. This gorgeous lady opted for the Kim K package. About a week ago now, I recently had a what's known as a Kim K package. For this sort of package, you can get a Kylie package, or you can get a Kim K package, which is one more meal. So the Kylie package is basically four meals of injectables. You decide where you can have them. Basically, you can have them in your chin, in your jaw, in your cheeks, in your nose, or you can have them in your tier 12. I obviously went for the Kim K package because that includes an extra meal of product. Does this give anyone else the ick? Not that lady in particular. She seems absolutely gorgeous and I found her video very interesting. But the fact that so many aesthetic filler clinics are offering Kylie Jenner and Kim K filler packages, like you can just buy their face and put it over your own, this creepy normalization of making us all look like little clones of each other is really starting to irk me. Here's another shining example of someone who received a Kim K injectables package. Is it wrong of me to say that I actually think she looked better prior? Actually, actually saying that. These are posts on social media promoting dermal filler packages. Some deals are named after celebrities like Kylie Jenner, offering lips, cheeks, and jawline fillers in one package. 24-year-old Claire Leeson, she has spent nearly £20,000 transforming herself into Kim Kardashian. I really thought that she was just so beautiful and that I really wanted to be like her. People tell me I look like Kim Kardashian every single minute. Every time they see me on the street or um, at the party or everyone thinks I look like Kim. When asked what she thinks of people getting surgery and tweakments to look like her, Kim said that people should be individuals. Do you ever get weirded out when people get plastic surgery to look like you? Well, you people like want to look like oh, her okay. the most. Yeah. Well, okay. I don't know from what I, I see online, I always see okay. people say I got right. 100K in surgery to look like Kim K. I've never okay. heard anyone say that about me, so I don't know how to okay. take that. Kim? Um, I think people should do whatever makes them happy. And I think that people should also like be themselves yeah. and be an individual. But I do wonder if Kim has changed her opinion on the whole be yourself, be an individual thing. Considering the fact that she's starting to look more like Shore than she looks like herself. Is this Shore or is this Kim? Has Kim asked for the Shure package? And look, I can see the appeal. Like sure, Kim is of Armenian heritage. She's a canny businesswoman, and she's not afraid to stand on her own two feet. My mom said to me, you know, sweetheart, one day you should settle down and marry a rich man. And I said, mom, I am a rich man. Sure is also seemingly terrified of the aging process and is no stranger to the cosmetic surgeon herself. So I am seeing a lot of similarities between the two. Now, I used to feel really resentful towards Kim and the rest of the Kardashians. I thought they were both instigators and perpetrators of the unrealistic beauty standards both myself and my fellow women are held to in today's society. Her picture-perfect selfies annoyed me. She doesn't look like them in real life, I fumed. Her ostentatious displays of extreme wealth irked me. I have thousands and thousands of clothes. I think I have like 30,000 pieces. You only have two feet, for goodness sake. Even her bag collection used to irritate me. Surely that skin was better served being on the snake than on a handbag. But I'm not annoyed at Kim anymore. On the contrary, I actually am starting to feel bad for her. I realize that Kim is just as much a victim of today's beauty standards as she is a culprit. 
Do Kim and her sisters perpetuate this ridiculous notion of beauty that we've come to accept as normal? Absolutely. But on a deeper level, poor Kim is basically a prisoner of these beauty standards. Maybe I'm getting soft in my old age, but I feel for Kim. She is a woman who has no discernible talent. She's not a singer. She's not a dancer. She's not an actor. Yet, she has become one of the most arguably famous women, or should I say infamous women, in the world based on her looks alone. So can you imagine how it must feel to have built your entire empire, all your fame, all your fortune, your entire livelihood based on your looks? If you lose your looks, poof, there goes your career. That's a pretty scary thought. And in a society that equates youth with beauty and age with decrepitude, Kim's desperate attempts to hold on to her youth are pretty understandable. But the sad fact of the matter is that there's only so long that you can hold back the hand of time. All the nips and tucks will not keep you looking 20 forever. And that's not a bad thing.